Northern. I'm a pediatric neurologist at the Children's Hospital of King's Daughters in Norfolk. I'm also a state senator representing the 6th District in Virginia. Thank you so much for your interest in public policy and advocacy for our children. Every January, the Virginia General Assembly meets in Richmond. We will be reviewing and voting on approximately 3,000 pieces of legislation, over 100 of which will pertain to health care. In Virginia's legislature, we have 100 delegates and 40 senators. Currently, we have four physicians serving in Virginia's General Assembly. It's very important that you come to Richmond and talk to your legislators and let them know what's important to you and for pediatric advocacy. There are certain topics that will be talked about this year and in the years to come, and those include decreasing the rate of childhood obesity, making sure that our children have clean air to breathe, we want to help those families that have children with autism and mental uh, disabilities. We want to be advocates for breastfeeding, and we want to pay attention to what's going on with provider reimbursement, especially when it pertains to Virginia Medicaid. When you come to Richmond, know who your legislator is, and also know who the legislators are that sit on the health care committees. It's important for you to remember the three P's. Be polite, be professional, and be precise. It's a very busy time of the year and there are many people that will want to be talking to the legislators. Thank you so much again for your interest and for your advocacy and I look forward to seeing you in Richmond. Do's and don'ts before you visit your legislator. When arranging a personal visit with your legislator, it's important to schedule an appointment at least two weeks in advance. If asked for the nature of your visit, please express your interest in meeting to discuss child health issues. For the upcoming Pediatric General Assembly Day on January 27th, appointments will be made for you. Plan to dress appropriately in business attire with comfortable shoes. As a medical professional, please remember to bring your white coat. Do your research. Please prepare and assemble reputable fact sheets pertinent to your issue or bill in hopes of leaving them with your legislators. Also, visit legis.state.va.us to find out who your legislators are in addition to who sits on the health care committees. If you're employed by a state agency or institution, you may communicate solely as an individual citizen. Participation in political activities on behalf of your employer is strictly forbidden. This restriction also extends to using company resources to promote political activities. Examples include email, long-distance phone calls, fax, postal mail, stationery, and the like. What to expect when you arrive? There is a security checkpoint as you enter the General Assembly meeting place, so travel light. Cameras and cell phones are permitted, just remember to silence your ringer. Please know that your personal interview can take place with legislators or their aides. General lasting between 5 to 10 minutes, these meetings will occur anywhere that is convenient for them, such as offices, hallways, or even while walking. If you did bring a camera, you may take a photo with your legislator if he or she consents. Personal interview tips. As you introduce yourself, briefly state why you are there. Present the issue or bill you are interested in. Remember the three P's, polite, professional, and precise. Hello. Hello, Senator Northam. My name is Dr. Kevin Collins, and I'm one of your constituents. I'm also a pediatrics resident at the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters, and I wanted to speak to you today about childhood obesity. Well, great. Thanks so much for stopping by. Come on in and have a seat, Kevin. Stay relevant to your legislator. Have reasonable expectations concerning support or sponsorship of any bills. Never argue. Senator Northam, childhood obesity is a growing concern, especially in uh, our district. And in my practice, I'm seeing quite a few patients with uh, childhood obesity as well as the multiple complications that have resulted from it. Dr. Collins, I, I understand that childhood obesity often leads to type 2 diabetes. 
use personal clinical experience. It is very powerful to talk about a patient you treat, explain how the issue affects the patient. Be honest and do not embellish. If you're unsure, it's okay to say, I don't know, but I will find out for you. Yes, sir. Uh, specifically, I have a patient who uh, is a 15-year-old who is overweight uh, and is now um, suffering the consequences of cut funding for gym classes and uh, is already on medications that we use in adults for uh, type 2 diabetes. Upon making your closing remark at the conclusion of the interview, thank them for their time and be sure to leave the fact sheets you've assembled along with your business card. Senator Northam, I've prepared a fact sheet about childhood obesity as well as my business card I'd like to leave with you. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. This will be very helpful to me, and I, I really do appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me today, uh, and appreciate everything you're doing for advocacy for our kids. Thank you again for your time. After you return home, it's important to follow up with your legislator, especially if you've committed to find out more information on an issue or topic. A timely email or a phone call thanking them for their time and consideration, again, along with supplemental info, will go a long way. Congratulations. You are on your way to becoming an effective advocate. You can make a difference.